ground a couple times last week. Um, this team you're about to face can bring even more pressure than you guys have, have faced before. Just what's in your mind this week? What have you, how have you been preparing for that this week to try to keep that clean? Mm -hmm. Sorry. What are those? They look delicious. You want it? Protein block. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, put the ball on the ground too many times last week. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, Penn State's a really good defense, and um, you know we can't do that. So that's been a point of emphasis, just um, you know, kind of uh, being stronger with the ball in the pocket. Um, and obviously, want to learn uh, from those turnovers last week and just continue to grow upon them because in games like this, you know, those, those type of plays can really make or break the, the outcome. Purdue did blitz you a lot. Does it help to come off a game like that where you saw those sorts of things, or does Penn State just look so different? Uh, yeah, obviously, Purdue, um, their scheme, for the most part, they brought at least five um, pretty much every single snap. Sometimes they would bring, you know, six, seven or eight guys. Um, so I think that was good, just getting, um, you know, the ball in my hands quick and uh, letting the playmakers do their thing. Uh, but, you know, I think the Penn State scheme is obviously different than that. Um, so I think the biggest thing is just, um, you know, learning the things that, um, you know, we can take over from week to week, um, like getting the ball out quick versus pressure and, you know, recognizing it early on. Um, but at the same time, you have to take that with a grain of salt because obviously Penn State will run different stuff. Kyle, how do you feel like you've handled the blitz just sort of generally this year, like identifying where you think it might be coming from and getting into the right place to get the ball out? Yeah, I think uh, for the most part, um, we've done a pretty good job. I think it's offense uh, against the blitz. I'm not sure what the stats are, but I feel like we've done a pretty good job of uh, myself getting the ball out and receivers uh, winning off the line, uh, which is huge. Um, and I think the, the line's done a good job picking it up and running back, sticking their nose in there and giving me an extra second to, to make a play down the field. Um, but obviously still room for improvement. I think there's been a few times this year where um, we've gotten the look that we wanted in terms of blitz and haven't uh, necessarily capitalized. So that's one thing that I think we need to take a step in the right direction going forward. Kyle, having played in Pennsylvania in high school, does this game mean anything more to you just having the opportunity to go against Penn State? Yeah, I think regardless, um, knowing the type of opponent we're playing, um, you know, you circle this one on the calendar for sure. And, you know, playing with, um, you know, a lot of these guys in high school playing against them, um, I think just makes it uh, even more special. But I think just the because they're such a quality opponent, I think that's why everybody's looking forward to it so much. What do you remember about being recruited by Penn State? And what was it about Ohio State that led you here over there? Yeah, I think obviously Penn State, if you live um, in that, you know, Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, Penn State's like the school that everybody dreams of going to. Um, and so obviously been to a bunch of Penn State games, actually got to see them play Ohio State in 2018, the whiteout game um, when Dwayne led them back in that comeback win. Um, and so, you know, in the recruiting process, they were great. They are probably my number two choice. Um, but I think um, when Coach Day gave me the green light to commit, there was really uh, no doubt that, you know, this was the place to be, you know, given his track record. But uh, they're a great school. Um, and obviously they have great talent at every single position, well coached. So I got nothing but good things to say about Penn State. Uh, you, in 2018, you went there as a Penn State recruit. Yeah. For Penn State. But you were so enamored by Dwayne and yeah. what they did. Did you kind of feel like during the game, you like almost your allegiance switched? Mm -hmm. How did that kind of process work? Yeah, uh, so like you said, I went as a Penn State recruit. Um, I had the Penn State offer at the time. I did not have a Ohio State offer. And uh, that was really one of Dwayne's first big games and seeing how they used him uh, in the offense. I was like, you know, if Ohio State ever recruits me, I think that would definitely be something to consider seeing the way they're using Dwayne, the, the way they're, they're throwing the ball. Um, and uh, it just opened my eyes to it because I never really thought Ohio State was going to be the school I was going to end up at um, just because of the, the traditional track record with, um, you know, Braxton and Terrell Pryor and all that um, wasn't really a, a pocket passing type of offense for the quarterback. Uh, and funny enough, a few months go by and the season uh, ends in January and they offer me and I'm like, wow. So even as you left the stadium that night, were you thinking, well, you had, <laughs> that visiting team was pretty. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely the way that game played out. Um, I remember talking to my dad about it and I was like, if, you know, Ohio State, you know, comes and calling, I think that's definitely a school to consider. Kyle, Kyle aside we, from getting the ball out quicker, what can you do to help the offensive line in a week like this? Yeah, um, I think they, they obviously know uh, the challenge that it's going to be. I think the, their defensive line is really good. Um, and 
I think for me, um, you know, if I can get us in the right protection calls and like you said, getting the ball out, um, you know, when the routes present themselves, being on time, uh, being loud, I think just all those things just to help them. Um, and I think it's going to be a team effort. Kyle, when you think back to some of these classic Ohio State, Penn State games and being from that area, you think of this matchup as a robbery game? Uh, yeah, I, I think when you think about the best teams in the Big Ten, um, just historically, I think it would be us, Team Up North and Penn State. And I feel, um, you know, just looking back at, at all the great games um, that have come uh, between us and Penn State, I feel like, um, you know, I don't, it's obviously not the game uh, around here, but, you know, I think everybody in this facility knows, like, you know, it's going to be a challenge. And it's been a challenge every single year um, since that we played them. Kyle, I know Last none question. of us can relate to what's happening in a quarterback's brain in the, the middle of the play, but when maybe you're getting some pressure, what's the process like of maybe deciding, am I going to take off and run here, or am I going to hang in and maybe wait for somebody to go? But just like in a nanosecond, how do you figure that out? Yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with your preparation. Uh, obviously, every single play is different. Every play call is different. Um, you know, every single pressure is different. Um, so, yeah, I think you have to understand, A, uh, the play call and um, what works, what, what are the answers for his pressure, and then B, what they're trying to do on defense in terms of where they're bringing the pressure from, what coverage are they playing behind it. Um, and I think you just have to study that and ask yourself all those what-if questions during the week. That way, um, you know, when the, the opportunity presents itself, you have the answer, you know, before you even see it. Does the fact this is your home state school on, on Saturday, does that mean anything to you? Does it? Get your juices going more. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I think regardless of, you know, if it's my home school or not, um, just I think the magnitude of the game, uh, two undefeated teams, uh, top 10 matchup, um, you know, I think just you, you can't draw it up any better than that. So I think regardless of who the opponent was, I think, you know, I'm going to be, you know, amped up for it. And I know all the guys will be too. Kyle, has Devin been hard to live with this week? I mean, he finally got in the game and did some things. I mean, uh, what's he been liking? Is there more in that little... Uh, rabbit hole yeah no i mean obviously he got in there last week and uh we put a little package together for him that was great i think he executed well and then on top of that when he got in there at the end uh threw a really nice ball to brandon for the touchdown and i think that's good especially for a young guy to get some game experience like that to get some confidence going i think that was really good for him coach Day said this is a team he said this yesterday coach this is a team that wants to be coached hard hard what does that mean to you what does that mean yeah um uh, you know, Coach Day, I think that's the one um, side of him that I don't know if people always get to see. I mean, he, he's fired up 24-7, and I feel like uh, I think that brings the best out of all the guys on the team. And when you have a coach that, um, you know, is on you that hard and wants to see you succeed that bad, I think that just lets you know um, how much he cares about you, how much he cares about the team, how much he cares about the success of the team. Um, so that's good. I mean, he, he and all the coaches, I can say, have been – um, like that since the day I got here. What does it feel like to get lit up, lit up by him? <laughs> I mean, I think you have to listen to uh, what he's saying and not how he's saying it. Obviously, in the moment, um, he's going to be hot, but it's always a good message um, that he's trying to get across. And I think um, just the way he says it is just uh, you, you have to keep in mind the urgency of it. Like, you know, especially at a school like Ohio State, you have to get those things changed now. And, um, you know, if you don't, there's going to be a problem. So. Um, that's one of the things that I've definitely um, grown just to be comfortable with is, is getting lit up by him, uh, and I think it's all part of the process. Is he, Kyle, like, is he, is he ramped it up? Is he ramped last, it up this absolute year? last question. <laughs> 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 um, this is three now. I think uh, in terms of ramping it up, I think I really got like that, the first dose of it, like really my first practice uh, spring ball my freshman year. Um, and, you know, he's honestly like that every single day. Um, and so I feel like um, to me at this point, just like I said, listening to, to what he's saying, not how he's saying it. Um, but, you know, I couldn't ask for a better coach. Kyle, thank you. Thanks.